Hi, coming back. Uh, thank you for coming back. Hello. And coming up in a few minutes, Latvi Mansuri will be with us. He runs the San Francisco Opera. He's here to talk about a streetcar named Desire, a very exciting opera that's coming to town. Anyway, he's been called everything from the Bay Area's B-movie baron to the monarch of moonlight madness. If you ask him, he'll say he's the sole heir apparent to the Rat Pack. Woo! Our guest is Will the Thrill Baharo. He hosts a midnight lounge movie night at the Parkway Theater, the East Bay's premier lounge theater. Welcome, Will the Thrill. Thanks. Jen. You look cool. You look laid back. You Thanks, could be baby. a Rat Pack guy. Do you, do you mind if I call you baby? Baby, that, no, that's part of the Rat Pack I, thing. I'm not into the, the PC jazz. Yeah, I mean, okay. You know, but you know, sure. I just want to make sure. Don't want to offend anybody. That's it's right. It's not my style to offend anybody. And I have that same button that it's Sinatra's world and the rest of us just live in it. When did this start for you, this love of uh, film? Love of film? Well, I tell you, um, I had kind of a uh, interesting childhood, and I needed um, where was I need it? to escape. Where was the childhood? My childhood was in, um, technically it was in New Jersey. Yeah, you know? well and that's was, Sinatra land. Yeah, well yeah, it's all Sinatra land. It's that's his, right, the whole planet. world, that's right, yeah, but exactly. But they, they, they know it there, I think. <laughs> and um, so I had, to, I had to escape into an alternate universe. And so I created Thrillville. And Thrillville is, um, is, is, is where all my favorite movies live. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I live in there. And thanks to the magic of video, I can visit Thrillville, and you can too, whenever you like. Right. So I think what we have here today are some scenes from, um, from Thrillville, and right. they are films that I would ideally like to show coming up soon in the Midnight Lounge at the Parkway Theater. Because mm -hmm. as you know, I, I and my, um, my lovely assistant, Monica, Tiki Goddess of the Midnight Lounge, host, Monica Tiki Goddess, she will be here in a minute. Host um, psychotronic films. Um, what's that mean, psychotronic? What's what it that mean? mean? Yeah, what's exactly what it refers that's to? A, that's an elusive term, and many people ask me, and I usually give a different answer every time. Okay. Uh, but there's a book called The Psychotronic Guide to Film by Michael Weldon, which is, if I had a Bible, not that I need one, but if I had one, because right. I wrote my own Bible, but if I had one, it would be that. Okay, well, Will the Thrill, and mm -hmm. it's Thrill Land, and one of the movies... Thrillville. Thrillville. One of the movies in Thrillville is a movie I consider one of the top ten greatest films ever made. Absolutely. It has... Besides from a fantastic soundtrack, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, El yeah. Elmer Bernstein, Bernstein's music. Which is El my theme music. Oh, it is. Okay. Elmer Bernstein wrote a great jazz score, but this is called Sweet Smell of Success. Take a look. But stop beating me on the head. Let me make a living. Sydney, what you promised, do it. Don't finagle around. It's later than you think. Excuse me, JJ. It's later than you think that boy proposed to her. Susie told you that? Uh-huh. What was her answer? She'll discuss it with you at breakfast. That means you've got a plan. Can you deliver? Tonight. Before you go to bed. Cats in a bag and a bag's in a river. Don't be a two-time loser, Sydney. The penalty could be severe. Uh, that's Burt Lancaster's J.J. Hunsicker, and Sidney Falco is played by Tony Curtis. So brilliant. What, what drew you to this movie? My favorite line of all time, the cat's in the bag, the bag's in the river. <laughs> but aside from that, yeah. it's just, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's totally it's cool. It's Gonsville, baby. Mm -hmm. It's just got it all. It's got the photography by James Wong. Mm, Wong Howe. Uh -huh. James shot, Wong Howe. Uh, who shot Waterfront mm. and uh, so many Pursuit. Films, yeah. And, yeah, fantastic. It's amazing. It captures... New York in 1957 like a like a documentary. Right. It's beautiful. And it's the underbelly of show business and journalism. Where it all it's happens. About, where it all underbelly happens. is where it's at. That's, that's right. right. That's where okay, it everybody, please rent this film or see it when you visit Thrillville. We'll tell you how in just a minute. You also brought I Was a Teenage Werewolf. My, my, my favorite film from my seminal years because, you know, I was a teenage werewolf. <laughs> and uh, I just related. And Michael Landon, his hair is so cool in this. Both <laughs> you know, with and without the makeup. Because, you right. know, when he's the werewolf, he's got the cool DA thing going on. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. But uh, it, when I was a kid, I was very captivated by the mood. It was, it was directed by Gene Fowler Jr. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And he was an editor for Fritz Lang. So I always thought of this as kind of a little, little like, noir, mm -hmm. kind of a, a horror noir. Okay. I was a teenage werewolf. Take a look.
hate that when I'm in a gym and this happens. Uh, that's I was a teenage werewolf. Well, which and, one are uh, you in the gym? Yeah, are right. You on the bars no, the hair, you... the hair thing. Oh, okay. uh, what? Um, now you say you went and visited this gym. I made a thrill? pilgrimage to I think it's the Hollywood Recreation Center in West Hollywood, mm -hmm. and it was closed. It was the last remnant, I think, of this film. It uh -huh. just closed, they're renovating it. But it's exactly frozen for years, exactly the way you see it. Yeah. Of course, in my head, you know, it's going to be that way forever. But okay, now what, you also brought Faster Pussycat, Pussycat Kill, 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 which Roger Ebert is always talking about when he talks about his film background, and he's a Russ Meyer. Uh, well, he worked with Russ Meyer right. around uh, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. And Russ right. Meyer was, is an Oaktown boy. He he's got started in Oakland. Uh -huh. He's a cinematographer, and he... I think he, he worked with the Pussycat Theater in Oakland in the 50s or... Mm -hmm. And it's just Tempest kind of a, considered a camp classic, right? That's, yeah, I mean, it's much more than that. I mean, John Waters and Greg Vargas consider it the greatest film of all time. Okay, faster Pussycat, kill, kill. What's the matter? The watch, she won't give it back to me. Let's have it. <laughs> You've got a weird sense of humor. Try again, I get funnier. Look, I don't know what the hell your point is, but I don't... The point is of no return, and you've reached it. You can still climb in that kitty car and take a hike, unless you can fight better than you can drive. Woo, you go, girl. This is, I guess, uh, the idea of strong womanhood and sisterhood is powerful. I got powerful. one thing to say. Tora Satana for president. <laughs> Who's that? That's, that's, that's who we need now. Really? Tora Satana, yeah. She could really do a job, huh? Uh huh? Well, this is one of the things that you show. And in our next segment, we're going to bring on Monica, the Tiki Goddess. And we're also going to tell people how they can see Will the Thrill and his Midnight Lounge movie night. So stay with us. We'll be right back with this guy and Monica, the Tiki Goddess, and a few more, a few more minutes of film buff talk. Stay with us. here with Will the Thrill, who is a man who loves the movies and shows them at the Midnight Lounge movie night, which we'll be telling you about in just a moment. We have been joined by the beautiful Monica Cortez, Tiki Goddess. Oh, fabulous. Oh, baby, you love her, right? Oh, yeah. How All can right. you not? How can you not? She looks fabulous, divine. And you say uh, Monica Cortez, so you are part of the Cortez family, of course. Yes, you Great know, discovers. Conqueror came uh -huh. down, conquered Mexico, conquered his world every night, you know. All right. And you, uh, you helped at the movie, at the movie night. Her. Yes, I spin the mean wheel, I hand things out, everything's sanctioned by the uh, lovely assistant union. Okay, great. <laughs> the assistant union that you're probably uh, one of the bosses yeah, I of. Know about that. We'll I'm a shop steward. Okay. All right. Well, fun. And we'll be telling people how they can do that and see you all and yeah. get your prizes and see the movies. Mm -hmm. But first, you grew up in the business, uh, Will, in that your father was a character actor, correct? Well, people have given me the business from time to time. <laughs> but uh, your dad was a pretty well known character. He's a character, character off and on screen. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, if he, he ne he's never really been captured. You know, I think just the way he is. If people could just make a documentary about him, hidden camera, be a smash. Yeah, but, but he gets a lot of work as a character actor. Oh yeah, yeah. he has. Oh yeah, he's he's been on every cop show, and uh, he either plays uh, the bad guy or if he plays a cop, it's a psycho cop. Okay. Well, we want to see what he looks like because I know with character players, you right like away, too. Yeah. right away, you see what you know, and you go, oh him, of course. Yeah, so ahead. now first, we're going to show you a moment from a movie called Hide in Plain Sight. Now, Will, in this one, James Caan uh, gave your father the business a little bit, huh? Yeah, it's James Caan directed this flick, and it's based on a true story about a guy who uh, his his kids are put into a witness protection program, and the. Um, the government doesn't tell him where his kids are because the kids are with this gangster played by my old man, typecasting. Um, it was shot in Buffalo, New York, and he actually knew the guy he played, who has since disappeared. Ooh, and okay. uh, so it's, and in this scene, uh, James Conn is confronting my old man. He wants to know where his kids are. And he wanted a look of fear on my dad's face, and he wasn't getting it because, you know, my dad's a gangster. He's not supposed to be afraid. Right. So without telling him what he was going to do for us while the cameras are rolling, you know, down in the underbelly of the show business, you know. Um, he was he was putting the squeeze on my old man's recreation center. Wow. You know I mean? so, so if you watch this scene, you'll notice there's a section where my dad's face flinches. And that's because Khan... And it's not fear, it's pain. Out of frame, Khan was uh, actually yeah. giving him uh, a little squeeze. A little squeeze. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at a moment from Hide in Plain Sight. Where are they? Hey, look, uh, just going back to Buffalo. I'll have him write you a call or something, huh? Listen. What's wrong with you? Easy. Easy. 
Charlie. Where are my kids? Yow. So that's that look of pure pain. It's a good thing huh? you did that, you know, after I was born. Otherwise, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so was so did he like working with James Caan, or did he say he bad liked... things about him after that? Well, they didn't develop a relationship after that scene, but I think they got along. <laughs> they uh, got along, all right. Yeah. yeah, he said he's a real funny guy in person. A uh -huh. lot of laughs, as you can see. Yeah, yeah a lot of full laughs. Of, full of surprises. Yeah. yeah, he looks real uncomfortable there, and now we know why. Yeah, well, so how many movies altogether did your dad make, you think? I don't, I don't know, because stuff movies. pops up he doesn't tell me about. Yeah. I've seen him on commercials. I said, hey, there's the old man. Did and he ever uh, have any real trouble with anyone? Did he ever mention? Anybody come to mind? Well, I guess my mother, because he's... Oh. Always, <laughs> Right. I don't know. Um, now, another movie he was in was Bare Knuckles. What made you want to... Uh, Bare Knuckles is a, uh, a 70s... It's a quintessential 70s classic because it's got it all. He's Zachary Kane, modern-day bounty hunter. It's scored by a guy who did porn music. Co-stars uh, Sherry Jackson, who was a musketeer. He's chasing a, a, a motorcycle-riding kung fu serial killer. He's got a big black assistant named Black. <laughs> and it's got it's got a fist fight in a gay bar. It's got it's hey, got everything. It's got everything. It's got all, it all right, let's take a look at Bare Knuckles. Who are you? A local wine merchant. I don't even know your name. It's Kane. Kane? Mm-hmm. As in uh, Abel. As in uh, Candy. As in. Uh, Citizen? As in blind man's. You scared the hell out of me. What do you do? The best I can. Ooh, the best I can as he Which blows a cigarette smoke out of good. it. That's pretty darn good. That's right. Now, Monica, uh, did you, uh, you knew uh, also the father. You know the father, yes, Robert Baharo. Uh, in a scene such as this or in some other way? Well, I just have to say one thing to Robert, if you're watching, keep your hands to yourself. The man's <laughs> very uh, affectionate. Keep those bare knuckles to yourself. Unfortunately, right? he seems to be much more affectionate than, to me than his own son. So, yeah. I, you know, well, I don't know like what's that about, huh? I like it that way. Yeah, right, okay. Now, Monica, what drew you into this world of uh, uh, sort of B movies, I would say, or some movies, well, some are, well, you consider them all A movies, but what connected you into this? Well, for me, you know, my calling is really doing the king's work. I like to just uh, correct, well, thrill if I might, very quickly. It is Sinatra's world, but as it, in everything, there's a trinity, you know. So there's the king, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, chairman of the board, Will of Thrill. So <laughs> for me, I feel like I need to just go forth into the world and do the work of spreading the coolness of the king, Sinatra, and Will of Thrill. So right. that's really... So what it's sort of a religious interest. mission. It really is. What about the, uh, on a movie basis? Uh, was there a movie that inspired you as a kid that made you love the movies? We were talking about Sweet Smell of Success earlier. Right. Well, you know, I love them all. I, I love the Polynesian classics like um, Blue Hawaii, you know, Paradise <laughs> Hawaiian style. I, I, I truly, you know, I am a child of the king. Right. I mean, it, with Elvis, all seriousness huh? in my heart. Do you and like the Zule stuff like King Creole, which I always thought was greatly King underrated? Creole. Yeah? You know, no, great you, film. That's Fabulous. a great film, but you know, my dad was married to Anne Helm who was in Follow That Dream. That's oh, my that's... stepmother. That's one of my many stepmothers that I know about. <laughs> right. <laughs> what an interesting way to live. Well, let's tell people how they can see Will the Thrill and Monica Tiki Goddess. Will the Thrill presents the Midnight Lounge movie night, and it's Planet of the Apes this time. Yeah, that's forget AMC. News. See it here. Okay, that's a way to see it, on the big screen with a couple of people who truly love it. Friday, September 18th, 11.30 p.m. Saturday, September 19th at 3.30 and 11.30 p.m. at the Parkway Theater in Oakland. For information, please call 510-814-2400, 814-2400. Will the Thrill and Monica, Tiki Goddess. It is really great to have you Can I ask here. you one thing, Jan? Yes, Many darling. people want to know. Yeah. Although I like thing? this. What's with the hat? What Although is with I like the hat? that one. Yeah. It kind of looks like Graceland's gate. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Does. it? Hey, that's cool. Then yeah, you must fun. like it, Monica. The hat thing was a way to put a little show in show business. There wasn't enough color for me on mo in TV, and I thought it would be fun to put a little personality I wasn't going to give you a fashion tip, but you know what? I like it. Oh, You're good. You're beautiful the way you are. Keep it. Keep like it? it? Will the Thrill All says right. be yourself. Hey, if Will the Thrill says it, I'm there. Thank you for being Thank with you, us. Jim. All righty, Thank coming you. up. A uh, terrific man, Latvi Mansuri. He's going to tell us about a new production he has, and it is something very special, so don't go away.